Well, we all saw it and we all experienced it. LSU won their fourth national championship, beating Clemson 42 to 25. And for that game, they had a very special guest in the crowd to watch, President Donald Trump. Before the big game, I was granted an exclusive one on one interview with the president. And despite the events in Iran and the impeachment trial about to get underway in the Senate, it's easy to see and hear why Mr. Trump and the first lady traveled to Louisiana to enjoy the game. The crowd roared as President Trump and First Lady Melania walked onto the field at the national championship game. Just minutes before, we got about five minutes with the president in a small interview room. Is this important to you to be here? I think so. I mean, it's uh, certainly enjoyable in the sense that it's going to be hopefully a great game. But uh, I think it's just a good thing for the country, the spirit of the country. It is a pivotal time in Mr. Trump's presidency. He's actively running for re-election while the Senate is preparing for an impeachment trial that is now expected to begin next Tuesday. It was the first thing I asked him about. Let's uh, begin with what you've been talking about on Twitter today, and that, of course, is the impeachment that's looming. What are you hoping comes out this week? Well, the whole thing is a hoax, and everybody knows that they have nothing. Uh, they sent two articles. That The two articles, there's not anything wrong, and everybody knows that, too, and the Democrats know it. That's why she never produced it. She was a, they were in such a hurry. Then weeks later, it still hasn't been produced because they don't want to lose. And uh, based on the facts that they should lose quickly and easily. So it's a hoax, and it's uh, taking a lot of time for a lot of people. And we're dealing with Iran, and we're dealing with China, and we're dealing with uh, virtually every country, straightening things out, and they waste everybody's time. It's a terrible thing, and the Democrats are doing a very, very bad thing for our nation. The last couple of times that you came to Louisiana, you were campaigning for Republican candidates for governor. Today, the Democrat was sworn in for his second term. Any thoughts on that and your working relationship moving forward? Well, it's very good. I just met uh, John Bell right outside, and he was terrific. He greeted me when I came in. And we did a good job. We raised our candidate by 12 points, and he was a really good man, really good. Uh, he worked hard. We lifted him up 12 points, but he didn't quite make it. And John Bell's a pro, and uh, we're going to work together. We're going to do everything we can for the state because we love the state. We both love this state, and uh, we're going to set some records here, you watch, especially when it comes to energy and some of the big assets that you have. Energy, the oil industry included. Critics have said President Trump's push for deregulation of the industry was a step back in drilling safety. His administration rolled back some of the requirements put in place to prevent another Deepwater Horizon oil disaster. We have much better equipment today than, you know, when we're talking about quite a while ago. Uh, we have much better equipment, much safer equipment. Uh, we can do things for less money. We can pay people more money. And we think it's going to be great for energy. You know, this is a very big energy area, and that's what they want to hear. And uh, they wanted it. They all wanted it because it's good for jobs, good for economic development. So, uh, no, it's my honor to have done it. We have, uh, we're now number one in the world in energy, and we weren't, uh, we weren't even close. You can watch my entire interview with the president on our website, wwltv.com.